When you're the parent of a PDA child or teen, you are constantly being judged, okay? People are going to think, oh, she's so laissez-faire. She just lets them do whatever they want. All the screen time, they eat crunchy snacks for lunch, Cheetos for dinner. She doesn't care about anything. Or on the other extreme, <laughs> you're considered a helicopter parent because you're always hovering around and sort of intuitively accommodating with your nervous system to make sure they don't go into full-on fight, flight, freeze, or collapse. So one of the most important things that a parent of a PDA child needs to learn is boundaries. But more important even than boundaries with your own child, perhaps, is boundaries with others. And these are extraordinarily difficult, especially for those of you, I'm looking at you, who are people pleasers, fawners, neurodivergent themselves, or have a history of codependence or perfectionism. So what can we do to prepare ourselves before we even set the boundary? I have a couple scripts that you can repeat to yourself to give yourself confidence to protect your family your peace and your child in this journey. One, you get to build the life that you want to live. Two, you get to take up space in your own life. You have a right to your own decisions, preferences, and opinions, even if they're different than others. Four, it's okay if the needs of your child, teen, or family are not the preferences of other people in your life. Five, it's okay if other people get upset, uncomfortable, or bothered by the decisions that you make for your life and your family. Because guess what? They get to make their own decisions for their life and their family. Six, it's okay and absolutely normal to feel completely terrified of setting boundaries, especially with those closest to you in your life. However, freedom is on the other side of each boundary that you set. And finally, number seven, you have a right to protect yourself, your child who has a nervous system disability, and your family.